Flash freezes motion better than shutter speed. Let's find out. Action. Oh, an important announcement before we start today's tutorial. My first live stream here on YouTube. It's free, it's available at this time and date. Just make sure that you turn on your computer, your mobile phone, whatever, stay tuned. And if you send me photos and questions, I'll be taking them live and answering you. Apart from that, I will be showing you an interesting shoot live too. So remember, it's free, it's open for everybody. All you need to do is just log into your YouTube and I look forward to have you joining me on my very first live stream and let's make this live stream go mind blown. But don't ask too difficult questions, right? One of the things that troubles me a lot as a photography teacher is seeing that beginners stick a flash to their camera but still use high shutter speed. You shouldn't do this. When you have a flash on your camera, you don't use shutter speed to freeze motion. If you turn your shutter speed or crank it too high, you're just gonna darken background because flash freezes motion way much better than shutter speed. Let me show you. We need a Demi. So Demi, here's what I want you to do. Look at me, look at this camera now. I'm gonna be using natural lighting for the first shot. I'm gonna go with an ISO of 1600 at F4 and the shutter speed is really going to be high. In my case now, it's about 800, 1 over 800 of a second. So Demi, here's what I want you to do. I want you to wave at this camera as fast as you can, like you have your favorite fan in front of you while you smile. And one, two. So this is the shot that we get. Demi's hand was completely frozen. So Demi, you know what I'm going to do now? I'm going to lower my shutter speed. I'm gonna go as low as 1 over 50th of a second. This time you wave even faster. And then to get the exposure correct, I'm gonna bring my shutter ISO down to about 200. All right, really fast. And one, two, faster. So as you can see, there is motion blur. So this is one technique using shutter speed to freeze motion. If your shutter speed is too slow, you will have motion blur like this. And subscribers, this time we're going to learn the second technique. How we can use a flash to freeze motion. Take a flash, plant it on top of your camera. Tell me, I'm going to turn this on. I'm going to go on TTL or full manual, it doesn't matter. I'm going to point the flash to the back. But since we know light freezes motion, I don't need to use high shutter speed. One of the biggest problems a lot of photographers do is that they have a flash on and still they are firing high shutter speed. If you're on TTL, this will wear your flash's battery down. So I'm gonna go as low as 1 over 50th of a second. If you look at the shot in natural lighting, Demi, you notice that at 1 over 50th, your hand was faster than the shutter speed. That's how we get the motion blur. But with the flash, the game changes. Let me show you how. So with my shutter speed at 1 over 50, Demi, I want you to be even faster this time. One, two, go. Completely frozen. And this is my point, flash freezes motion. So this shot was in natural lighting at 1 over 50th of a second. And this shot with a flash at 1 over 50th of a second. As you can see, flash is so fast, there's no light, boom, that's light. It's just like immediately turning on the lamp in the dark room and it freezes motion. Subscribers, this is what we're gonna do. We know that with flash, you don't need shutter speed so high. I'm gonna drop my shutter speed as low as 1 over 15 of a second. This is a crazy low shutter speed. And I'm gonna increase my air value to compensate. And we'll go to the front and show you how it can still freeze your hand. You ready? Yep. Okay, and one, two, go. There you go, as you can see, flash really can freeze motion, even though the shutter speed is as low as 1 over 15th of a second. And there you have it, proven once and for all that flash freezes motion way much better than shutter speed. The only challenge is that you may not be able to use this in sports photography because sometimes the flash will blind the sports person or they're having their sports event a little bit too far away from your camera. 
So that's it. I would like to interest you with our YouTube exclusive membership here, which was launched recently. And in there, you're going to get exclusive video lessons. In fact, I'll be teaching you more how you can use flash to freeze motions to get shots like this. This is an interesting tutorial. So you must be thinking, how can the YouTube video be different from the normal free YouTube video? Different. They are more fun, more humor, and the lessons are longer and more precise and more structured. So sign up now, we have three levels for you to choose from and the price of level one is really affordable. Apart from that, you can have the options of sending photos to me so that we can do live stream CNC and also have your questions sent to me and I can answer them. And at the same time, this has got to be one of the most interesting aspects of our YouTube exclusive members. You can actually be shooting together with me live. That's the best way to learn photography, is to see me do my shots and then I fail and how I fix it. So that way, you don't have to make the same mistakes. So hurry, join us as our YouTube exclusive members. Thank you for your support.